Off it eight guys, I'm John Cruz Tuck and welcome to the pull up. I've always been in love with martial arts since I was a kid. I mean, as far as I can remember, I was watching a martial arts movie, especially the action, action shows, whether it be Bruce Lee, I mean, Jackie Chan, of course, I always wanted to be like a kickboxer, like Jean-Claude Van Damme when that came out. Growing up, I was a bit sickly with, with extreme asthma. I really had bad, bad asthma that I was going in, in and out of the hospital. You know, growing up on Guam, we get bullied. It's part of the nature, you know? Everybody want to test each other. And I remember this kid, he was like, I think fifth grade and I was second grade. The kid was bullying me and I think he punched me in the face. Or I don't, I don't remember exactly what he did, but I know he stocked me up pretty good. I remember I went to the side and I started meditating and I was crying, tears running down my face. And, you know, so I went up to him and he tried to hit me again. And I straight up did the splits and I punched him in his nuts. <laughs> so that's my first actual, like, you know, physical altercation where I had to handle situations through martial arts. My parents, they, they, they really didn't want me to train growing up. Even sports kind of was, was a hard, hard time dealing with, right? I try to go into dojos and watch, like, people do Kyokushin karate or Kempo karate or whatever it was, you know, and I would even check out some, some jujitsu schools back then. I've always latched on to friends who did martial arts, had a friend who did karate, you know, and we'd spar a little bit. The mission, I want to get the belt, but I need to get in top 15 so that I can claim my stakes and fight for the belt. But... Out here at Foodies, about to pick out some good stuff. Haven't had some monkey pops. Y'all are messing out. Right now it's calamansi mint. Got Nutella banana. All that good good over here. Oh, and my favorite, coconut candy. This one, game changer, especially if you're trying to recuperate for the next training session. I don't know, but really, I'll sneak a little bit of this here and there, just because my daughter likes it. And when she sees me eat a little gummy or whatever, she feels good about it. So I'll get that too. Herbs too, right after, right after training. Stuff will hydrate you too as well. People say I'm fancy because I'm always trying to jump on the alkaline hype train with the water, but got to do everything you got to do to be performing right anything else you know might be done training might need to grab you a little bit of uh make you smell a little bit fresh you know i don't know if you get that guys so basically what i got in this basket is a bunch of good treats bunch of good good food lean clean and helps fuel me up for the next training sessions and and you know the reason why I eat like this is because, like I said, I need to digest everything and and be able to operate at a, a optimal level where where I'm putting my life on the line. You know, going to training, punching each other's face, and and whatnot, right? So I got to make sure that I'm getting the right fuel. I'm not putting sludge in my body so that I gas out in training or whatever it be. Maybe a competition. So this is my go-to's when I'm going to go into the next training session or competition so hope you guys learn a few things and pick up some good ideas and stop on foodies and show them some love <laughs>